Hey, this is Harry Guinness from AQSoft, and today I am reviewing the slightly long-winded DJI Phantom 2 Vision. It's not the Phantom 2 or the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. It's the one that comes with the 14 megapixel camera without the gimbal. If you've seen any of that amazing drone footage that's always featured on YouTube, the chances are it was shot with one of these or one of its bigger sisters, the Phantom 2 with a GoPro and a gimbal, or the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. I've been playing around with this for the last couple of days, and got to say, it's a hell of a lot of fun. Right now, you should see my hands holding the remote as I take the Phantom up into the sky. The controls are pretty good with it. They're a little bit twitchy when you're low to the ground. It's a powerful drone and it's quite heavy. So the controls are quite sensitive. You've got to be careful. You don't want to send it shooting off into some nearby trees or children, both of which could get you in a lot of trouble and damage your drone. It likes to fly quite high. It's realistically quite a small aircraft, which is why the FFA, FAA is doing so much to regulate them. It's capable of going up to about 1,200 feet, though DJI would prefer if you kept it at below 500 feet and away from airports. There's been a couple of incidents where drones have crashed into planes, or rather planes have crashed into drones, and they don't want that happening too often. As you can see, it flies through the air pretty comfortably. Shooting this was quite difficult. It's about a foot across and trying to get the camera to look at it while, while doing that and picking it up in the sky because, as I said, it likes to shoot up quite high was fairly difficult. So let's take a look at the, at the Phantom. Uh, so this is the drone. It's a quadcopter. It's got four propellers. The propellers almost touch in the center, so these are the largest propellers, give or take a couple of millimeters, that this uh, quadcopter can take. Got four engines, and I think they counter rotate. Certainly, you screw them in uh, counter so that it keeps it stable. There's a big battery on it, which is this thing here. The battery can be a little tight. You know, a sign of the good manufacturing in it is that the battery is in quite tight, it's not loose. So pulling it out can be a bit difficult if you're not, um, yeah, it's not just cutting them out there. But the battery is about this size, goes fully in and makes up, a makes up a significant portion of the quadcopter and the quadcopter's weight. You get about 25 minutes flight time according to the DJI. I found that to be fairly close to the mark. I never got longer than 25 minutes, but nor did I ever get less than 20 minutes or so. So it's a reasonably accurate assessment if all things are good. Uh, the camera then is the 14 megapixel thing I mentioned earlier. It's got an f2.8 lens. It's mounted on a sort of shock mount you know, there's these rubber, uh, rubber shock absorbers, which means that a lot of the drones shake and rotation from the propellers is taken out. There's a micro SD slot that you use to control it, and it uses Wi-Fi to beam a, a rough live feed back to your smartphone, which you keep strapped to the top of the remote. The camera does 1080p video, it's HD, it does that at 30 frames a second, and the video quality is okay. Uh, I was a little disappointed with it. The shock mount means that you don't have the same level of control over the camera as you'd get with a gimbal. So if you're trying to do some epic cinematography, you're going to be a little bit disappointed. Uh, if, you, if you rotate the drone, so if it's here like this and you rotate it, it's very, very janky and jerky whereas if you've got a gimbal it will do it a lot smoother so if you're looking to do a lot of drone cinematography the phantom 2 
or uh, with a GoPro mount and a gimbal or the Phantom 2 Vision Plus which is this camera but mounted to a gimbal is going to be a slightly better option. Let's have a look at the remote. Uh, this is quite big, bulky, good to hold in the hands. It's not that heavy. Uh, there's a lot of empty space inside the remote. There's four AA batteries. Then there's this Wi-Fi extender, which uh, takes the Wi-Fi signal from the Phantom, beams it through this, and to your phone, which you strap on here and use as a screen and an, addition, an additional controller. The, uh, the remote only has the two joysticks and the power button and then these two switches which perform various sort of reset functions like resetting the GPS and things like that. You'll flick one of them up and down a few times to do that. Uh, the right hand drone controls forward, left, right, back whereas the left hand stick controls height so you go up and down and also turning so it does in uh, the other two axes the two remotes or the or the um the two joysticks feel pretty good in the hand there's uh, nothing wrong with them they're quite sensitive i quite like that the height one will lock down the bottom it has a, a little lock at the bottom here so that when you start up the rotors it locks in the down position and then you have to bring it back out and start increasing the height all in all it's a pretty well made remote um, there's no problems with it which I suppose is the is the best thing you can say for something like this overall the whole package is pretty awesome it's a lot of fun to fly it has great range and can go quite high as I mentioned the cameras a little bit disappointing uh, it's great for stills you know, you can take 14 megapixel stills photos, which don't have the same problem as the video because you're going to be doing that when the drone is slightly more stable. But if you're trying to make some awesome footage, you might want to look at a slightly more expensive drone. If, however, you want to get an interesting perspective on your neighborhood, some sweeping shots over your houses and that sort of thing, then it's going to be fairly perfect for that. If you want to enter the contest to win this DJI Phantom 2 Vision that I used for this review with the grass stains and all, apologize for that, it landed in some long grass at one point, then enter the giveaway below. You can get some more entries by signing up for the newsletter, in which case you'll be notified whenever we're doing any more of these awesome giveaways. Thanks for watching.